Hey guys, Miss Hedo with another video. So today I'm doing part 11 on how to make a FNAF fan game on Scratch. So in this part, we're going to be making the animatronic actually attack you and hopefully, possibly doing jump scares. If not, we're going to do that next episode. Okay, so a lot of people have been saying they still have issues with the scrolling glitch with the office door, etc. If it doesn't work for you still, I would simply recommend just taking out this code and just taking out the movement code in general, and then just simply setting the size to 100% like this. So just remove the, remove the um, scrolling code, and then just set it to 100% size. That's what I would recommend doing, considering that a lot of people are having troubles with this. So again, I'm just going to do that to each one of these, like so. There we go. Okay, so now that that's fixed, I'm sorry guys if you really wanted scrolling, um... There is a couple of tutorials you can find online for this, so just search that up. Um, anyway, what you want to do now is you want to go to the Turt AI or your animatronic AI script. And then you want to go, when I receive Turt attack, we created this, or animatronic attack or whatever. We created this broadcast last episode, just so we know when he's actually going to attack you. So now what you want to do is you want to put an if and then else loop under Turt attack. Put an equal sign here, and then what you want to do is you want to take door closed or opened, put that here, and then you want to put another if and then loop in the else one, just like this. Put an equal sign, and then put if and door opened equals this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you just want to double check that you have the right one. So, this is if and then door equals open. So the if in, the one in the else you want to put if and then it equals open. And then in the top one you want to put closed. Yep, just like this. You want to put closed. Just like that. So have this script kind of set up. And then what you want to do is you want to put a wait right here. And you want to put, for now it's say 2.5 seconds. So you have 2.5 seconds to react to him attacking. Or else you're going to get jump scared, essentially. Okay, so what you really want to do is if and then door equals closed broadcast a new message and this new message is going to be reset and if you want this is essentially resetting to its AI so he goes back now what we also want to do is if you want you can add a little sound effect here so for now I'm gonna use one in my backpack which I have here which is pretty much like a thudding sound, so it kind of like thuds against the door. So here's the sound I have right here. It's called playing. I'm just going to use that for now. Now I'm going to put that right under here, so broadcast reset, start sound playing. And then if and then it equals open, you want to broadcast a new message. And this new message is going to be called jump scale. And then after that, we want to put this code. We want to put stop this script okay that's kind of the simple code for now um but there is a couple of things you might want to do before this such as if you go to the office right here you might want to make a new costume so just duplicate the first one take tilt or whatever your animatronic is and then put him in the doorway just so the player kind of knows he's actually there so there, we're just going to kind of do that, make them um, actually go here. Okay, there. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to make this guy out of food. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, when I receive office, we want to switch costume to costume one, so the one without tote, oh, you're animatronic. And then we want to go, when we receive tote attack, switch costume to costume 2 so this is essential this is what you want and then what we want to do is we want to duplicate this so right click on it and then we want to go when I receive jump scale we want him to kind of show up on the camera so just disappear so jump scale switch costume to costume 1 because he's moved and also we want to go when we receive duplicate this again when we receive reset Switch costume to costume one. Okay, that's pretty simple. Now we just want him to essentially 
So essentially this code is when I receive him attack, he shows up. When his I receive reset, he resets, and when I receive jump scare, do this. Now that is pretty simple actually. And there's not really much to it. So now we let's just try to see what happens. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go to your toot AI and then go when I receive reset, because we need him to still move back after we reset. We're just going to duplicate his main movement script and put that under the reset right there. So now he's going to reset his, now he's going to reset once he essentially gets fended off. Another thing we want to do is under this reset we want to set toot movement to 1. That's essential, that's exactly, that's exactly what we want to do, definitely 100%. Now let's try it. And this should be a movement script. If it doesn't work, uh, tell me in the comments and I'll try to help you. You see that he shows up on cam 1, doesn't show up on cam 2. Now we just simply wait for him to move. And see, we can't scroll anymore though. And if you do have a lighting effect, you probably want to take it... You probably want to get rid of it. So office lighting effect. probably want to get rid of this. As you can see, we're here at footsteps though. Now he's gone from the stage, and now he's here. You can see him right here. Now, after we hear his footsteps again, he should realistically show up right here, and we should be able to click this button and fend him off. Now, if we look here, he is completely gone. But as you can tell, he isn't here. Now, in order to fix this, we obviously have to go to the office sprite. And we have to put, just put a simple repeat 2 on this. If something doesn't work, always just put a repeat 2. Let's also put a repeat 2 on jump scare. Just like this. Okay, now let's try again. If something doesn't show, always put a repeat 2. It will usually override, uh, if you have a other script that makes it wrong, it will usually override it. Okay, now as you can see, he moved. He's not in here, he's in the second cam. We did this all last episode, so if that doesn't work, then there probably is an issue, and again, tell me in the comments. Now, if that didn't work for you, I do have one more fix for you. And this is a pretty simple fix. Now, what you want to do is go to the main movement scripts, and instead of stop the script immediately, you want to put wait 0. Point Five. Just like that. And do that for both of them. Just like that. Wait, 0 0.5. Okay, if that doesn't work, do tell me in the comments below. So there's two fixes for you guys. If those don't work, then definitely do something. Okay, see, as you see, he's right here. We click this, and of course the door closes. Don't worry about the sizing issue. I will fix it. Now, theoretically... See, as he shows here, there is one more thing we have to do. And if door equals closed, just put a repeat to on these things. See, as you can see, you heard that. And now, he should not be there. And he should be simply back at the camera. Back at cam 1. Now, if that doesn't happen, tell me in the comments. So essentially, he should come there, do that. And then when he shows up, you should be able to press that, and he should be fine. You should be able to close the door, and that should be fine. Now, as you can see here, he does move across the cameras after he resets. So that code is all good and dandy and everything. So um, I will be doing jump scares next episode, actually. So... Anyway, guys, on that note, bye!